I've wanted to do this for most of my life. There it is. Hi Rangers and welcome to another episode of My Name is Bigfoot and you are? Patrick. Patrick, what's the name of your band? My band is the Rainiers. Rainiers? Yeah. And how'd you come up with that name? Well, uh, we had gone through a ton of names and it's really hard to pick a name that everybody agrees on, you know, so we wound up, the, the URL www.therainiers.com was available, so we agreed on it and we bought the URL, which expired after one year, we forgot to renew that, and so we're still the Rainiers now, even though some college in the, you know, on the East Coast has it. Because so. you guys are native Washingtonians, right? You're from Seattle here? Yeah, born and raised Seattle. Our drummer's from Shoreline, so awesome. whatever, right? Um, but yeah, so we were all part of a big blues band back in the day called Heavy Tea and the Blue Notes. And after practice every day, we would just kind of play weird stuff and heavy stuff. So one day we just decided to break off and uh, do our own thing. And that's how the Rainiers was born. Uh, and we've been at it for probably four years now, maybe three or four years. How would you describe your musical style? Well, it's uh, well again. We got our root, our roots are in the blues, right? Right. But you know, we all like heavier bands, like you know, Yob and Red Fang and stuff like that. So it's. Blue, and you know, I see a lot of bands out there kind of like doing the sort of same thing that we're doing, so it's not like it's super duper original, but it's bluesy with a real kind of heavy metal kind of vibe to it. So that's kind of our deal. And we try to get weird though, we kind of try to keep audiences on our toes. Like, you know, we're going on in a little bit, and you'll probably hopefully you oh, stick I, around I'll, and check I'll out our there, set. Yeah, I'll be listening. You know, we, you know, all the songs are going to be a little bit different. You know, we take it in a lot of different directions, so uh, we try to just have a good time and uh, put on a good show and entertain the people. So, uh, what's some of your uh, inspirations? There's tons. Um, you know, we pull from a lot of different stuff, and the three of us come from different... We're a three-piece power trio, by the way. And we kind of have different musical backgrounds. Um, a lot of blues again. Your ZZ Tops, your Gary Moores, no, your <laughs> you know all those really great Johnny Winters. I mean, I love all that kind of music. Um, and again, like we're all born right here and raised, and we we're all '80s babies that grew up in the '90s. So you know, we kind of grew up idolizing, you know, all those huge grunge bands that were so phenomenal. We had quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. So pulling from a lot of that stuff. I mean, when you when you hear the show, there's going to be a lot of that. Um, and you know, there's a lot of other great bands like you know Queens of the Stone Age, Faith No More, and just stuff like that that we really dig. And um, and we're constantly out there listening to new stuff and pulling you know different ideas from whatever comes comes our way. You know, and other bands that we do gigs with. You know, yeah. I always I'm always trying to pick up new stuff. The the newest album coming out. What's it going to be called? It's called House of the Devil. House of the Devil. House of the Devil. Yeah. We're putting out our second album next week, no. so we're we're excited. Do you have a YouTube presence? Do you have a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, and uh, we're working on the YouTube deal. Okay. Um, but if you really want to find out when we're having shows, the best way to do that is just Google The Rainiers, spelled R-A-I-N-I-E-R-S, okay. band, and you'll find our Reverb Nation page, and all our gigs are on there. Find us on Facebook. There's also every gig will be on that as well um yeah that's about it that's the only way you'll ever find out if we're having a gig you're elusive like me i understand i know but i'm a band so i'm supposed to not be elusive but i'm just bad at being in a band i think well that's kind of the charm that i like about our people's music sure it's uh whether you're in tacoma or snohomish sure uh the music tends to it it really has to fight to get out. Oh, absolutely! So. It's an up, it's a it's an upward stream, like the Northwest salmon. Okay. Right? Do you eat salmon, by the way, or is it just uh, yeah, well, I like rainbow children? Trout. Okay, rainbow yeah, trout. Yeah. I've never eat, I, you know what? I've never hurt a human ever. Oh. So I yeah. Um, kind of no, disappointing. I, I like I, I'm a I'm a river person. Okay, sure. So rainbow trout. Sky combish. Like 
you know Pierce County. Pierce County. Okay, Pierce sure. County, yeah. So, but no, but I like all counties. Sure. Yeah. We're not counting anyone out. How did you get so passionate about music in the first place? It was kind of forced upon me by my family. Okay. I'm, I come from a you know super Irish family, and uh, music was never something that was a like a thing that. I reached out and grabbed right away. It was something that was like, okay, well, this is something that you're gonna do. I don't care if you want to do it or not, but you're doing it. Yeah. So I started the cello when I was four. I played that for a year, I sucked at it. And I played, so then I played the violin for four years and I sucked at that too. And, uh, and then I you know, picked up a guitar and I've been playing that for, I don't even know how many years now. Um, and I still suck at it. You'll find out soon enough. Um, but but You're so harsh on yourself. I know, right? Um, no, but uh, you know, I really do. Uh, this is this is my favorite thing. Going out and playing gigs and uh, making loud music with my friends. It's just the it's the best thing in the world. I like that. And smoking weed with Sasquatch. Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you for your time. Absolutely. Your yeah. I read a book about you recently, by the way. Did you? Yeah, there's a, you gotta read it. Okay. It's a Sasquatch erotic novel. And it is hilarious. You gotta read it, it's called uh, Come for Sasquatch. Okay. Get your friends around the fire, crack that sucker open. All right. All You're right. gonna have a good time.